from around the globe. It's theCUBE, with digital coverage of Commvault Future Ready 2020. Brought to you by Commvault. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman, and this is theCUBE's coverage of Commvault Future Ready. To help me wrap up our coverage of the event, happy to welcome back to the program Tom Baradak. He is the Vice President of Strategy and Chief of Staff with Commvault. Tom, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Stu, glad to be here. All right, so before we get into the news, Tom, you know, I, I love when I get to talk to strategy people because you, know, you, you have your 90 day plans, you have your quarterly plans, you have your yearly plans. You're uh, you know, year, year and a half into uh, the new regime, of course, Sanjay, who you're chief of staff for, and yourself. So I'm, I'm sure coming into 2020, um, a few things probably hit in 2020 that weren't on your initial plan. So, you know, global pandemic and the like. Tell, tell us a little bit about, you know, how, how current events uh, have been impacting, you know, both, both, both your plans and, 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 and led to what we saw today. Yeah, sure. Great, Stu. Um, good question. You know, you know, what's interesting is um, obviously we're in a different world today than where we were last time we spoke at, the, at our GO conference in the, um, in the fall. And, uh, and like everyone else, you know, we're, we're dealing with this new reality. And, um, you know, we're fortunate because we are a software company, which means, you know, from an operational standpoint, um, you know, we're, we're, able to, we're able to continue to, you know, build products, deliver and great software to our customers and the like. I'd say from a strategy perspective, you know, we're still on course. We, uh, as you saw at the GO conference last, last fall and as you see today, um, we've been building new products, new capabilities, um, you know, under the mantra of intelligent data management, which really is a new direction for the company uh, or a new way that we're framing uh, the, the, uh, what we're bringing to our customers. And while we've had to make some tactical changes inside our business, the fundamental strategy is strong. In fact, I think in a lot of ways, it's actually sped up, sped things up. Uh, I think it was, uh, as we talked about today, um, quite a bit, the uh, digital transformation for organizations is happening even faster now or people are saying hey you know where i thought i might have had five ten years to you know to uh, on this journey it's actually compressing quite a bit and we feel like we're in a really good spot and we feel like we've been building towards um, delivering the kinds of capabilities that customers need so um, fundamentally things aren't changing for us and i think um, i think we're in a good spot today and hopefully you know, that is going to resonate with the marketplace with this series of announcements that we're making, uh, making today. Yeah, absolutely, Tom. Huge forcing function in the marketplace by what we're seeing today. Um, you, you mentioned uh, the user conference Go from last year. One of the big themes at the show uh, last year was the intelligent data management. So help us understand, you know, connect the dots if you would, uh, between the, the vision and now really it's a, it's a whole portfolio refresh uh, that we're seeing from Commvault today. Yeah, so we're, you know, we're building off of 20 years of development in the space, right? We, it's so much more than backup. And, uh, you know, I think traditionally Commvault may have gotten a little bit pigeonholed as a backup provider. But really, when you look under the covers and you look at our platform, right, it provides true data awareness, automation, agility across your entire estate. And we have almost a thousand patents in the space. So, um, you know, what that platform offers for us is the ability to support lots of different data management services that can be consumed in different ways. And so when we think about intelligent data management, right, it's data management services that are delivered in that intelligent way, right, through that awareness, automation, and agility. You know, obviously, too, the way that we deliver it to customers is, you know, either it's flexible, traditional software, right, downloadable software, or um, as an integrated appliance, um, and now even as software as a service through our metallic offering. Because when you look at it, you know that foundation that metallic is built upon is that same core platform that you know our current customers know and enjoy. So, um, you know, when we talk about intelligent data management, that frames the whole story for us. So when we think about you know our roadmap going forward as well. It's about what are the new types of data management services that customers are demanding and how can we build that right on that platform, that core platform that we've already been, uh, had developed for so many years. 
Yeah. Uh, Tom, Tom, I'm glad you brought up uh, some of those different models, uh, the way that people can uh, consume uh, and, and purchase uh, the, these solutions. Uh, if we look at uh, you know, the overhaul of the portfolio there, uh, one of the pieces I'd I, I like to understand from you is if you look at you know, pricing, uh, if you look at licensing, um, you know, obviously Commvault has been going along this journey uh, from uh, to, to be more in the, uh, uh, the, the that subscription model, if you will. So help us understand how the how the updates fit there. Yeah, I, you know, it, it's I'll tell you, it starts with if you if you had a chance to see, I'm sure you did see Sanjay's presentation today. You know, a lot of what we're talking about here is simplification and simplifying not just the user experience, but also the commercial experience, right? So simplifying the usage of the product, but also simplifying how the, the usage. So when we think about it, um, you know, and customers are demanding this more than ever right now, right? Um, obviously this goes back to the new world that we're living in. And um, if you take that and also consider our expanding portfolio, we need to make sure that we're doing it in a way that makes it easy for customers to consume um, the different elements of it. So we've taken an approach that makes um, licensing simple. So first, we're, we're aligning licensing to the workload that's being either protected or managed in some other way, right? So for instance, if it's a virtual machine workload, the licensing is by virtual machine. If it's mailbox oriented, it's by user, right? It's aligned to the workload and the procurement methodology that organizations are used to buying for that particular workload. I think in the past, things might have gotten a little bit convoluted. Is this terabyte based? Is it VM based? Is it user based? Is it instance based? Is it, right? And what we've done is we've taken a drastic simplification approach uh, on looking at that, uh, and looking at that. So that as organizations think about their workloads, uh, they don't have to do like math derivatives to figure out what their cost is gonna be. The second thing is we wanted to make it more predictable. And so, um, you know, we've had subscription licensing as an option for a few years now, but it's really just been an option, right? And now we're going to be more aggressive uh, in terms of how we're offering that. We want to incentivize subscriptions even further. You know, if a customer wants a one-year term, we'll provide a one-year term, right? If they want a multi-year term, we'll provide a multi-year term. It's up to them. But whatever it is, it's going to help them buy what they need rather than be forced to make, you know, some sort of massive upfront perpetual license decision. Right, and we'll, we'll incentivize that sort of um, predictability. And then lastly, you know, we wanna make sure that we're being aggressive and flexible in how we're providing these options to customers. So you know, if you go back to the intelligent data management comments and, and being able to deliver different data management services, we wanna make sure that we're aggressive when it comes to the solitary use case. If I wanna back up the thing, I'm going to be very aggressive, right? Commvault's going to have aggressive pricing uh, for that particular use case. Um, but then what we also want to do is we want to make it attractive to customers to bring their data in environment even further with you know, other types of data management capabilities. So we're going to make it easier for customers to do that. And you see that through the portfolio approach that we've announced today. Um, we've really rebuilt um, our portfolio, I think, for you know, uh, the more modern enterprise and, uh, and we're incentivizing and making it worth customers' while to really look at all the different offerings that we have. So, Tom, I wonder if you could speak a little bit to the ripple effect of that change that you have uh, to, to the pricing and, and, and the like. Um, I, thinking about go-to-market, your channel uh, and you know, compensation for, for everyone along uh, the value chain there, how, how, how does that happen? So, um, Obviously, you know, as we make any kind of change to our portfolio, be it, um, you know, be it adding products or changing the licensing, there's a lot of work that has to go into it behind the scenes. And, you know, this, frankly, is a big part of what we've changed about Commvault in the last 18 months. Um, the, uh, and we talked about this a little bit last time you and I, you and I spoke. You know, it's hard to get an organization to be aligned end to end, and even harder when you think about all the downstream effects of that. Right when you've got you know distribution layers, and and of course your your customer base. 
Um, how do you get everybody in sync and aligned with what it is that we're doing? And we've made sure that throughout this process, as we've been leading to today, which is really a culmination of a lot of this effort, that you know the folks in the organization, both internally and externally, that need to be up to speed and need to be aligned to what it is that we're doing are there, right? So it's part of that um, part of that process. We've been working on this for months to make sure that we're in a good place. You know, I, I have a saying inside the company, which is sometimes you have to go slow to go fast. And it, it relates to, it actually relates to, um, to like motorcycle racing. You know, when you, you know, a motorcycle race isn't one on the straightaways when everybody has their throttle wide open. It's one um, before they enter the turns as they're slowing down. Because the whole idea is you slow down, you get the bike settled, you get your, you enter the curve, you know, at the right trajectory so that you can hit the apex and accelerate out. So when it comes to aligning a big organization and in our um, distribution and channel infrastructure behind that, going slow means making sure everybody's aligned up front in the process. And then we can build the plans going forward to make sure that we've got the right information in the right place at the right time so that the customer can have a great experience at the end of the line. All right, uh, Tom, uh, you, you've now been with Commvault a little over a year. You know, bring us inside a little bit, you know, so some of the cultural changes, what surprises you've seen, uh, and uh, you know, help us you know, bring a close to uh, the Commvault Future Ready. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, Stu, it's been, uh, so I've been with Commvault now a little bit over a year, about a year and a quarter. And um, it has been a tremendous experience. Obviously, we've we have we've transformed the company. And you know, if you look at the leadership team, it's you know it's a it's a mixture of new folks and folks that have a lot of experience with the company. Um, and you look throughout the organization between how we operate, as I was just talking about, and um, the kind of innovation that we're delivering uh, to the marketplace. It's founded on a really simple ideal. You know, we want to um, we wanted to simplify the business. We wanted to drive innovation, and we want to make sure that we're executing. And we've been able to rally the company around those three components. And I'll tell you, um, the the biggest pleasant surprise that I've had inside the organization is the attitude of our people, and the openness of the Commvault teams to the kinds of change that we've been making. Um, it's been tremendous because without, without their support, there's no way that we would have been able to do this. Um, you know, from employee one to employee, you know, 2,500, you know, we're all like rowing in the same direction to use another analogy. And uh, without that, it would be impossible to make the kinds of changes that we, we were making. Now, you know, I'd also say, you know, it takes it's um, it takes time, and that's one of the things that we've all needed to make sure that we that we had, you know, getting getting the whole company aligned, um, and then having the patience to to make sure that we've got a nice follow through um, has been really important. And I think you know today is a great example of how far we've taken things at Commvault and where we think things are headed going forward. And I expect lots more. Uh, Lots more great things as we move forward through the rest of our our calendar and fiscal year and into the out years as well. All right, Tom. Uh, one more final word. Uh, what what do you want uh, really the customers to have as their takeaway from Commvault Future Ready? Well, I mean, I hope uh, customers see you know the kind of uh, positive change and momentum that we're making between you know what we're trying to to deliver in terms of value for our customers and how much they can derive out of that um, you know for our for, you know when you're when you're a hammer everything looks like a nail so for us you know every it, it all comes down to the data and data you know is so fundamental to any organization and how they derive value from it and you know we play I think an important part in that landscape and it's our hope that we're delivering the types of services to customers that allow them to extract the value out of the data to make them successful and at the end of the day, that's what we're all about. And I hope that this has been a good um, experience for customers to see this and, um, and that they can um, you know, see from it that we, we've got momentum behind us and that we're just gonna continue to move this forward. 
All right. Well, Tom, thank you so much. Data, absolutely huge opportunity for customers as well as Commvault for you and, and all of your ecosystem there. Tom Broderick, thanks so much. Pleasure catching up with you. Thank you, Stu. Really appreciate it. All right. And that brings to a close the Cube's coverage of Commvault Future Ready. Check out thecube.net for lots more. You can go back and see uh, the Commvault Go that, that Tom and I referenced. And uh, stay tuned for lots more events that we have coming up. I'm Stu Miniman, and thank you for watching The Cube.